It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Subcommittee on Labor, Health, and Human Services and Education for our very first hearing of the year, and my first hearing as Chairman. So I'm honored to be able to share that with you and looking forward to your testimony. I want to add quickly on a personal note, I had the opportunity to meet you, thanks to my good friend Mr. Womack uh, some time ago and facilitated that relationship uh, when you were at OMB, and I want to tell you how much I admired and appreciated your services there, working with you uh, in your current capacity when you had the challenge of the influx of uh, illegal immigrant children uh, in the summer. You were extremely helpful. I had 1,200 of those, uh, or up to 1,200, that were going to be stationed at Fort Sill. You worked with us very well. So again, uh, I, uh, my, my experiences with you have all been positive and productive, so I'm, it's great to have you here. Uh, as I've been coming up to speed as a new chairman, I've been learning more and more about the astonishing range of programs under your jurisdiction. From overseeing research that we hope will cure diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's, to protecting our people from Ebola and, to, and the flu, to providing uh, child care and early learning from, to our youngest Americans, to training our next generation of medical professionals and administering health insurance for our nation's poor and aging populations. Your responsibilities are broad, great, and numerous. There are many things in your budget that I think we can all agree are priorities and that we can collectively support. There are others that uh, where we may well disagree. The challenge that we'll be facing this sub subcommittee is how we can support the most critical programs, the investments that will give Americans the greatest bang for the buck, so to speak, with the limited resources that we will have available to us. Your budget assumes uh, an array of tax increases, new user fees, changes in mandatory spending, and other spending uh, sources that are beyond the purview of this subcommittee. Um, you use these funds to pay for increases in popular programs. In my opinion, we won't be able to do everything you're proposing. I look forward to having a discussion with you this morning uh, about the top priorities uh, in your department. From your perspective, where should we actually invest the taxpayer dollars uh, that are at our disposal? Uh, if we can find, uh, if we can't fund everything you request, where would you prefer us to focus uh, our limited dollars? I would also be remiss if I did not point out uh, many of the management challenges facing you at the helm of uh, HHS. From the continuing uh, problems with administering Obamacare to contracting irregularities, backlogs, and complaints from medical professionals, there seem to be no shortage of areas in need of management, managerial improvement, an area, frankly, at which you have proven uh, repeatedly you excel. Uh, I hope to learn more this morning uh, on what you're doing to take positive steps in these areas and where we can assist you. Finally, there are many external challenges facing your agency, threats to cybersecurity, threats from diseases like Ebola and antibiotic-resistant bacteria, and the many challenges of poverty also land at your doorstep. I look forward to hearing your ideas on how to combat these this morning as well. As a reminder to the subcommittee uh, and our witness, we will abide by the five-minute rule so that everyone will have a chance to get their questions asked and answered.